the 2024 season. And we'll get a look here at wideout A.J. Brown, who's closing in on 1,000 yards receiving on the year. It's the Eagles and the Ravens, next on Madden NFL 25. Some might say it's cold. Others, like myself and my partner, we say this is football weather as we welcome you to Chile M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in Week 13. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the first drive for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. Brandon, it's always nice when you get recognized with an individual award. And he was the AFC Offensive Player of the Week last week. But when you do it in a win, so much the better. Absolutely. And he was all talking about that win, not so much the award he received on Wednesday. And it's a nice-looking award. I wonder if he took it home, you know, got out of the car, showed it off to the kids in the neighborhood, <laughs> passed it around. I wonder what he did with it. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. So, C.D., this defense, they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months, not weeks, months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor, the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get them is the idea. Jackson now. This goes to a former Eagle, Nelson Aguilar. They find some open field here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there on the catch and run. 30 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 12 carries, 85 yards. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does. And they want to make sure they get him there. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. That's another Baltimore first down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Throwing is Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play. And third and eight now. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Ravens get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And that's pretty good coverage by the kick team as he'll only be able to get this past the 15-yard line and no further. Out come the Eagles for the first time and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. Over the middle complete, Brad Smith. Well, a pretty move, couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Hurts. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left to no room to run it, and a good footwork nearly all for now. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A first down carry for Henry. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw is Jackson. Henry's got it out on the left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. In motion left, Bateman. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Here's second and ten. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Jackson. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive, and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. They go play action now. Jackson. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, 29 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if it... Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing ball. call here roughing on the follow-through. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. And this one fielded in the end zone. It won't be returned, so it'll come out to the 30. The Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And his numbers this year have been eye-popping in a lot of categories. And one area that stands out, he's the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns by a quarterback here in the latter part of the season. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now a pause and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll run it again with Barkley. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Back-to-back -back running plays, putting him in negative territory. What can they do coming up on third and 15? Able to find the open man. That's complete. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. A big play there for Philly. 45 yards. They'll run. Here's the rookie out of Clemson. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 17-0 our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it second and seven. Hurts going to give this to Shipley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Barkley going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Throwing his hurts. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard from three yards out. And the Eagles get a bit closer. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they'd love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. A 10-play drive that time, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. A short one there, caught by Likely. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Throwing on second and long. Jackson to the right side into the hands of Flowers. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Here's Jackson to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And he's putting together a remarkable season, currently the NFL's leader in passing yards as we play here in the month of December. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. And I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The Eagles had seven and four on the year, and they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action. Here's Hurts. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Adafi Owe has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Shipley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now a hit and a loose football. And I believe he was able to get this back. He was. Boy, after giving up the touchdown, lucky that didn't turn into another. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Inside handoff, Henry. Now he's free at the 35. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. 91 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. I guess that's what happens when you give the current NFL rushing leader that much room. And when you do, all you're doing is solidifying his standing at the top of the leaderboard. He's going to continue to get more and more yards. Good luck trying to chase him down. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Off the option, here's Henry. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. They'll send a tight end in motion right. From the gun, Jackson. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Oh, boy, Derrick Henry shake it up after that last play and in some discomfort down there. Tucker's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. To try again after the sack. Hurts. That'll be caught by Shipley. 
And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And he fends him off. Polluting the pressure right. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, and he's going to go down here a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Escaping the pressure right. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick by Elliott is good. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly miss hit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. So let's get an update on what's going on. We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Brandon Cooks, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we'll skip over to Louisiana. Check on the Saints at home in New Orleans. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Derek Carr lighting it up. Three touchdown passes there. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Tennessee Titans. Will Levis leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. The first half belonged to the reigning NFL most valuable player, number eight, Lamar Jackson. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, With Coach, thanks as always. Having their this way, one's it's still not anyone's game. They'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime. But the, number three. the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got a man. It's Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards, eight yards, eight yards, eight yards, eight yards. 
Straight ahead, Shipley. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A run on first down with Shipley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now, during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. They'll come up now third and nine. They'll set up a throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll give it to Shipley. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. And how about this? A fake. And this is caught. And the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Zone read here, Shipley. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's good for 28 yards. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. On the sneak, it's Hurts, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And these Eagles may have been the first to really perfect this play. Let Hurts take the snap, then get some help pushing from behind. This was so successful, some folks, including me, were calling for this play to be outlawed. But while it's still in the books, no one runs it better than Hurts, and he takes this one in. Elliott good with a PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. A loss of two yards. It's now third down and three. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Shipley. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. That is caught, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. And taken down just shy of the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine, he, and now as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's caught, Smith. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. He'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They go play action with Hurts. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. 
The offense on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions looking for a ninth. This time they face a third and two. Once again, it's Shipley. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will stay a four-point game. Now this was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Play action. Now Jackson. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Rodgers on the return. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 25. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. Here's third and nine. Hurts. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Adafi Owe able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Running from the gun with Henry. Down to the 42, second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Throwing is Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. 
That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any... Now the ball comes loose. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like... It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And this will be caught by Brown. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. On the handoff, it's Shipley. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. They'll set up to throw. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. What kind of fortitude does it take to go for it on fourth down late in the fourth quarter, knowing that a turnover on downs could turn out to cost you the football game? I don't know if I could have made that call if I was down on the sideline. That's as gutsy as they come, and it may just seal them the victory. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. The kick by Elliott is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this Personal is about. Foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. Automatic and now that down. glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Shipley again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Will Shipley, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by 11, a minute 37 remaining. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hardy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And his throw is incomplete. Oof, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. 
Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. They'll try and run it in with Henry. But he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the medal lands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So for the Eagles, it's an important...